So this is Ubuntu running on a tablet. Um, it's the same software running on a phone, uh, the 7 inch and the 10 inch tablet. And on the tablet you have multiple users you can uh, choose to use. And you see this visualization here of data from the usage of the device. Just gives you a little personal feel of what the device is like, what it's been doing, so you feel like it's yours. Then unlock the device. Um, and then the thing to notice about Ubuntu, there's no need for navigation buttons. It's all um, uh, done on a flat surface. And you navigate by swiping from the edges. So you swipe in from this edge to bring in the application launcher. Uh, you swipe from this edge to bring in the settings. You saw them in the icons uh, in the top here. And then if we go into an application, you see the menu appear at the bottom, but we don't really want to have the menu on the screen the whole time, so it disappears, you can use the whole screen to enjoy your photos or whatever you're looking at, and then you slide in from the bottom to bring the menu up. So if we then go back to the home screen, uh, and maybe open uh, a couple of other applications, uh, Twitter maybe, or the calendar, just let both of those get going. Um, you can see that on the tablet you can do two things at once. You've got the application you were working on on the main screen, and then you have what we call the side stage uh, with an application uh, that you're using uh, perhaps to make notes or see when your next appointment is. Uh, and you can switch between them. Uh, I didn't actually launch um, both apps. Uh, let's bring up, uh, say, Sudoku. That's, that'll come up as well. So the final navigation swipe you've got is from this edge, where you can switch between the applications that are running. Then the other thing to say about Ubuntu is what makes it unique compared to Android is it's all about the content and user experience. Um, so you've got in the home screen here you've got applications, you've got running applications, the installed applications, and then if the internet, the internet is on, excellent. Uh, you see applications from the App Store, um, and we can. Uh, look at more of these. So there's no separate App Store icon, you just go straight into um, the, store, the selection of icons available. And the same applies to other things that the user is interested in. So you've got music, the local music collection, and then uh, tracks from your online account with GrooveShark. Or maybe it's a radio station themed on the track that you've just selected. So you can you have a, both an online and offline experience that, without needing an application. And of course these are extendable, so people can add to these screens. Uh, so you have video, that's in the standard package. And then as an example of extensions, here's a tourist guide that's sensitive to the area that you're in. Uh, recommended uh, sites, transport, local news, weather, uh, live feed. Um, another example, maybe a carrier or uh, an OEM has um, a promotion around an event that's happening. They can offer this in the home screen. Uh, you have uh, news, you have uh, perhaps match reports, player profiles and so on. Um, so these customization points, that's another differentiation compared to Android. If you want to do this sort of thing on Android in the home screen, you have to fork the user interface to do it. You have to maintain a lot of code, you have to do a lot of work, and the users tend to see the rough edges as well. So neither side, the OEMs don't like doing the work, and the users don't like the experience of these add-ons. Because we can see that that's a problem that needs to be solved, we've offered these customization points in the user interface, so that both the users get a good experience, and it's cheaper for the carriers to achieve the goals that they want to achieve.